Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm Alex. I'm Megan. I'm Sydney. And we're, we're Doll Skin, Skin. And these are our early years. Oh, I don't know if I remember the first one I ever. The first one. I remember the first one because Megan always said she looked like a pea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I remember we were all wearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember we too. all met up at the School of Rock, um, and we were just doing this, like, rehearsal. We all agreed that we were going to do the band, Battle of the Bands, and I wore this green beanie, and then I took a picture afterward, and I said, oh, I look like a pea. That's my that, That's unrelated to anything else, but I looked like a pea that day. <laughs> I wonder, we weren't working on an original at that point, I don't think. I honestly, I think we, we? kind of came up with the idea on that practice. I knew what I we, we wanted. I think we their band name. Yeah, because, no, no, we, no, we came, yeah, the no, band no, name was, like, later. later. They were mine. Yeah, were but. We were practicing for, like, a month without a band name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What were the covers, though? It was the. It Weatherman. was Weatherman That's and right, Uninvited right. by Alanis Morissette. But Weatherman is by Dead Sarah. And then, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, that, I remember we all just obviously clicked really well. We already knew each other. We had already all played music together, yeah, too. Yeah, so it's like, you know, we didn't have to get through a lot of the normal baby steps that bands have to go through because then you get to kind of acquaint yourselves with each other and like we already we most were already us, friends. most of us already knew the covers too yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah uninvited was like a um a song that we did in like the program for school of rock called house band and like it was uh, arranged by like our music director shane and so we were just like we're just gonna we're gonna borrow that for <laughs> for a long time still play it <laughs> until now thanks shane thanks shane thanks shane, thanks, shane. Thanks, shane. Thanks, shane. Um, first technically, sh- the first ever show was the audition for the Battle of the Bands. No, that wasn't a show. That was like a... Yeah. We had to play like two songs, though. Yeah. We had to like... But, okay, like real show. Perform. Real show. Was the first real show. Dresses. Yeah, yeah, it was Megan's okay. Battle of the Band, and we were like, everybody wear like dresses, and we all wore dresses. I wore shoes that were two sizes too big for me. She wore shoes that were two sizes too big for me. That's awesome. Too. Yeah. We played in this huge like high school auditorium, and it was actually really full because it was a big deal at that high school. Mm-hmm. It was a really good first show. Like, we got a standing ovation from, like, everybody. People came from the, like, because it was a bunch of seats. And so people came down from there and, like, nobody did that for the other bands. Until after us. (laughs) And then there were a bunch of, like, a row of judges, and everybody stood up, and we got all tens except for one. The person gave us a nine. But that guy didn't give anybody a nine. And then somebody, like, compared us to, like, I don't know. Never mind. I remember David stood up. Oh, and that's where we met our manager. David. Yeah, Ellison. he's from Megadeth. He's the bass player, and he was a celebrity celebrity guest judge for that night. And um, he got to do that uh, guest judging because his son Roman was going to school with me at the same high school, and it was just a last minute thing. And he's like, you know, agreed to do it just like that day. And then um, he said he loved us, and then he came up to us afterward and he's talked like, to Can us. Can I have a picture? We were like, you were like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Cool. Can you have a picture? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Like Our first show was show. awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was really great. And that's not normal. <laughs> and then some of our band. and then some of our other first shows like were at like other fun first shows Well, you know, like like shows. shows that weren't like battle of the bands things. Right. Um were like at the tiny little like venues in Phoenix, which were really fun, like trunk space yeah. when it was still like in a corner. It was really yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. Literal, literal corner. Literal corner. Yeah. yeah, not not a ninety degree angle, like a normal corner. Yeah, triangle, corner. like a thirty degree. Yeah, like, a, like a little miniature trunk space festival called Best Friends Fest, and then everyone left for us. <laughs> we were like, "Thank you, friends." <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. that so <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> Woof. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to start because okay, I five, okay. Three. So like my whole list of musical inspirations growing up and even now are. Uh, Lacey Sturm from Flyleaf, Jason Elon Butler from Let Live and Now the Fever, um, Vic Fuentes from Pierce the Veil, and Kellen Quinn from Sleeping with Sirens, um, and Tyler Carter from Issues, and I can say I'm, like, friends with all of them, and I'm... <laughs> She's pooping your pants. <laughs> the li- little scene kid in me is like, yes! <laughs> um, yeah. But, like... I, they're all really cool too. Like Vic really came cool. out to our show when we played with Newfound Glory. Like he came up for us. We were like, and then left right after like, us. Like he just cared to stay. <laughs> it was so cool. It's just like to have like a rapport at all with these people is just like really cool. But to just like feel like we're on the same playing field is awesome. Lacey taught you like how to scream. Yeah, Lacey taught me how to scream. She got a new number. And called me to let me know she got a new number. That's very nice. That was really cute. It was that really was cute. So nice of her. Do that. No. <laughs> that is so nice of her. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Um, Lacey Sturmy, love I you. I was gonna share. Um, 
the three that I um, absolutely like never thought I would ever meet Dave Grohl number one one oh, of the best yeah. days of my life oh, yeah. actually he hugged me and called me shy hat girl <laughs> and it was like that's two um, Mikey way from My Chemical Romance and Frank Ayero from My Chemical Romance so those were huge moments and they're all very nice people um, oh geez, I definitely second the Dave Grohl thing. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, Avenged Sevenfold has been one of my oh, favorite bands yeah. forever, yeah. and I got to meet Sin at Nam one year, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not a super publicly emotional person, but I'm like, I had to leave the room after I got a picture with him. I'm like, I can't. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> and then, oh god, a big one. Um, Slash. <sighs> Um, was it was a show, it was an Alice Cooper show, right? Yeah, yeah. it was Christmas. Yeah, it was Alice Cooper's big Christmas, like, holiday event um, in Phoenix. And Slash was playing, also with Nita Strauss. Big shout out, Nita Strauss. Mm-hmm. She, I met her, and then she became an idol. So, nice. that kind of counts. Yeah. But our manager just kind of, like, pushed me quietly into this room, and Slash is just sitting there. And I'm like... room, like, this size, too. I, I, I was like, I just, I died. I just, I'm like, like I'm dead. He pushed me through the world. Like, this is the afterlife. I was like, this is it. That yeah. was one of the craziest moments. And it was just, like, over and done with before it even started. But I was just like, I can't believe that just happened. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, Slash, Avenged Sevenfold. Um, haven't met people like Joe Satriani or, you know, Shredders like that. But Slash and Dave Grohl and Sin, I, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Um, for me, I started playing bass because of Lindsay Way of Mindless Self Indulgence. I was like, she's the coolest bassist in the entire world. And one time, Megan and I went to see Mindless Self Indulgence, and we met her, and that was like was before. I was, gonna, and I, was I was also there. Well, Megan and I took photos <laughs> with her. Okay, okay, so okay, yeah, yeah, we were all there, but like Megan and I took a photo with her. Actually, I didn't right. take a photo. With her. Okay, Megan didn't, didn't take a photo with her, but Megan took a photo of me with her. Yes. Right. There anyways, you go, there you go. biggest inspiration. A couple weeks ago. She followed me on Instagram, and I was like, "What did I do for you <laughs> to follow me on Instagram?" So I haven't met her since we've been like a band, but I'm like, I hope she knows who my band is, and she's like my biggest. Sure, I think she'd have to. Oh if she followed you on Instagram. <gasps> oh my god! I just screamed into the microphone. <laughs> oh I forgot about that. Woo! Oh my god! I posted something about Good Die Young on my story, and then Haley Williams reposted it, and I was like, "Thanks for the repost." And then she messaged me and was like, "Your band's cool," and I was like. Your band's cool. You're a liar. What are you saying to me right now? It was oh, I'm like sweating thinking about it right now. It was crazy. Yeah, those are. I haven't met her. Haven't met her, but she did message me on Instagram and tell me my band is cool. So. <laughs> One step closer. Yes. To the 